Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're already existing then hiya. If you'd like to keep hold of my videos, please subscribe and stay tuned and press the notification bell and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Sorry, I'll get that out in the way because I think I'm gonna be so hot and bothered by the end of this that I'm not gonna remember what to say. So, I'm gonna bring you today a lookbook. So, sort of, sort of styled outfits that I would wear during the autumn months. Already out of breath. That is literally an ultimate record of mine. I'm going to show you outfits that I would normally wear during the autumn, the autumn months, as it's getting a little bit cooler. And I like my things to be great value. I like to buy places like Primark and really cheap stores. But I like it to look expensive. So sometimes I'll buy like a more expensive piece. But this is sort of a kind of looks that I'm going for today. So I'll just show you. And I'll also be showing you what I wear shoes wise and accessories and blah blah blah. So hopefully this video won't go too ridiculously long, but hopefully you'll enjoy it anyway. So I'm starting off, I get asked about these all the time. I've got a black vest on, two quid from Primark, and I've got these black sucky knickers that come all the way up to here. These were five pounds from Primark. They are really good. They do sort of get rid of all my lumps and bumps, like they smooth me out, but they don't take me in a size, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna look smaller in them. It just sort of smooths out what I do have. So. To start off with this video, I've, my bed is literally covered in loads and loads of stuff. I thought I'd start off with some clots because I know a lot of you lovely ladies like some trousers. I'm not really a trouser wearer. I will wear loads of jeans and jumpers during the winter and the autumn, but I'm not really a trouser person, if I'm honest. Maybe a little jumpsuit here and there. So I've got these clots. These are off of Very.com. And my friend actually got a pair like this. They're a different kind of like fabric, but they are the sort of same. And these are £25 for very. And these are collot trousers. Am I in focus? I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Now, I sort of am very big on my bottom half. And I don't tend to wear trousers just because I think they make me look a lot bigger than I am. Or maybe they just show my true size. So I'm just going to get a belt out because that's one thing that I did actually forget to get out. Now, because I'm wearing a black top with this. I've decided to prepare this up with a burgundy and gold buckle belt from Primark. This was in one of my hauls. I'm sure this was £3 as well. So I'm just going to find it. <laughs> I've been to Jump Street today, so that's why I look the way I do. I've been to Jump Street. I've been to Jump Street, jumping around like a lunatic on the trampolines, getting told off by people that are probably about 10 years old that work there. But... That's life, I imagine. So I think pairing a belt with something like this really makes it look more expensive. And also, you can even get away with kind of wearing a vest for this, really, if you had like a jacket. But it really makes the trousers, it comes in at the smallest part, so I like that. Now, I'm trying to wear clothes that you kind of would remember from um, more recent hauls, so you might be able to actually get them. This is from my new look haul, which I've done last week, eight pound blouse. So if I wanted to make this kind of like low key, you could sort of wear like over your shoulders like with a little vest, like a, a oversized kind of like jacket, some little pump trainers, or some like little sling back loafers would look really, really cute with this. I think if your hair and makeup was done really beautifully, it would look really lovely anyway. So you could probably wear a vest with something like this. But what I'm gonna go for is this kind of style. I'm gonna have what was that nice? So I'm gonna go for this, I thought this was very expensive looking. It was only eight pound in the sale. I'm gonna tuck this in. And I really like this. I think this looks really cute. And you can get a lot of these type collots and stuff in like various places. I know Matland do a lot of them. Um, and what I'm gonna pair these up with for a day. So this is sort of an outfit I would wear if I was going out with friends. Now I would wear this with like flat sandaly type things because it's still kind of like warm enough that you can wear sandals. Or I would probably wear this for like a little pair of pumps, a little pair of loafers. I've got a little pair of loafers here that I might wear with this. I would either wear kind of tandy ones would look quite nice. Or I'd wear some like black typical loafer types with them. But if you want to sort of turn this into a thing what you can wear with drinks in the evening... These were only £12 from Primark and they're little slingback khaki sandal heels. So this is the outfit that I'm going for really. 
I'm going to drift off so much in this video. You're probably going to be thinking, why is she keep going off saying what she could wear it with? This is meant to be a lookbook. But I don't edit. So if you're new to this, I don't edit at all. So, um, because I can't. <laughs> and you'll be watching thinking, why is she going mental? But this is, I'm going to stand on my stall. This could be really dangerous. I'm also going to adjust the camera a bit. So, better? I'm going to stand on the stall. Hopefully I don't kill myself. So as you can see, the clots are kind of like this kind of length. And I'll wear these and I'll probably pair it with a nice classy little black bag. You can get these in most places. So I got this from the charity shop. I think this is £1.50. Wear something like this. And like I said, you could pair with this. This is what I got from. This is a pretty little thing, but I got this out of choice. Like it's a brand discount store for next. Wear it with something like this on an evening or even going out shopping with friends looks classy hasn't cost me a lot it's actually all really really cheap but you could get away with being down the city in this if i'm honest now also i've got a few long coats like a few nice long duster coats and i think these would look quite nice this was from topshop last year and this is beige and this literally touches the floor i'm sweating as well Something like this would look super cute as well. So, and I think everything I wear can be worn really super young, any kind of size and shape, and really, really the colour tones to any skin tone and any age. You don't, I get a few, I get a few more other ladies that are a bit more mature and they'll say, can I wear that? Well, of course you can. Of course you can wear it. You can wear what you like. You wear whatever. I don't think fashion has any rules. I think there's some people that make rules and they're just silly. There's no need to have any rules. I don't think I look, there's anything wrong looking with me. You might not look particularly like this. But because I'm a size 16 and I'm a plus, I think sometimes people think that I should be wearing oversized t-shirts and jeans. I'm not doing it. I look fabulous just as much as anybody else in clothes like this and so do you. So, rant over. <laughs> I am sweating. You imagine, the last hour I've been, well I'm lying actually. I've not actually, I've been jump street, but I've not been jumping for the last hour. I actually went harvester, and I like go a bit greedy with the salad, so I think that's what's done me over. And the lighting is because it's literally ridiculously late, and I've never filmed a video this late. But I thought it's not fair if anyone has waited for this video, and if I put it up tomorrow, it's just not very nice, is it really? So, we're going to get off the trousers now. Now you could wear this with a nice little pair of black skinny jeans, a little pair of loafers, same sort of thing. Hasn't got to be like that. Now, I don't think I'm doing any more trousers. No, I'm not. So I'm going to bring in the trusty tights, if I can find them. Now, one thing I think everyone should have in the winter is a pair of nice heeled boots, nice flat ankle boots, nice pair of loafers. They're the only shoes you need. And I also think you should have a pair of black tights nice thick black tights not the ones where you can kind of see your legs through them mind you sometimes my legs are the kind of ones where you see them through them because i wear them and i think i've got a little bit too much leg for the tight so i'm going to pull these up now this top is nice it's a going out kind of top you could wear this with a nice little skirt as well but i also like to wear just nice long sleeve black t-shirts as well like nice cheap ones two pound fifty from primark you don't have to wear Spanx, I'm just doing it to keep a little bit more modesty. Because to be honest, if I wear tights, they suck me in enough anyway. So, and really, something as plain as this would also look really lovely. Now, these have, they, this is from Primark last year, but they've got these in again. I think they're eight pound. And they're like a check. They're very similar to like the Aquascutum check. It's a really expensive looking. It already, already has a belt, so I'm going to tuck this in. So this is like a mini skirt, probably something a lot of you might not want to wear if you're a size 16 or plus, but I think they look lovely, especially with a nice little pair of black tights. Oh, I can hear my heart beating in my throat. <laughs> So these, these are all, all sort of outfits you can wear for work, you can wear for going out with your friends on a nice day. In the autumn, I do a lot of shopping for you know what, so to get prepared. And this looks quite nice with the belt 
that it comes with but you can add a belt to give it that extra luxury piece i can't find my black gucci looking belt but look it just does add something when you add your own belt to these things i think they look more expensive but i'm going to keep it like this because i'm not just going to keep putting the same belt on with every single outfit now i would probably wear yet again my nice long coat i've also got this in gray so i probably would wear this in the gray now this is what i wanted to just show you what you could sort of funk this up a little bit with now this is a lovely little outfit and you could wear some little loafers with it but what i like to wear in the autumn is sort of rough my hair up get it down be kind of cool and wear a pair of chunky chelsea boots like this and then my little like block boots now i just think they really trend up an outfit this is going to be really hard literally i've got like a an original combo baby in my belly oh my goodness so i won't put both on but now this might be a bit out there for some people see if you can see but i love this i love this kind of outfit i think it looks cool some people don't want to wear boots like this chunky ones because they think they make their legs look chunkier i actually think they look really cool yeah <laughs> So they're kind of like that. They're very like hit Holly Willoughby. I think they look really, really lovely. So I'd wear a kind of pair of boots like that. But alternatively, if you're more of a classy girl and you want to sort of look really, really elegant and classy, I would either wear a nice little pair of Chelsea boots. These are a bit dusty. They've been in the cupboard downstairs. Nice little pair of Chelsea boots would look lovely with something like this. Or I think every woman should have these as a staple. A pair of suede, high-heeled, black knee-high boots. And the reason I think, I've got these from Marks and Spencer's, and do you know what, these are probably the only heels that I can walk around in in hours and they don't hurt. So. I think the old calves have got a bit bigger since I wore them last. Oh! And they literally come up to my knee. <laughs> getting a bit foldy and my hair's getting a bit sweaty but I think these just look really really nice and obviously with another bag but something like this because I've got so much black on I'd probably add like a nice big bag with it this is more like a shopping outfit so this I got from the leather satchel company I got this off of Azos this is 30 pound I think my boots from Marks and Spencer's, these ones. I think these cost me about £45. I can't really remember. The first pair of Chelsea boots I showed you was £35 from ASOS. And these chunky boots were also £35 off of ASOS. So They have very similar coats to this in um, Primark at the moment. And Marks and Spencer's. Oh. So that's just a little quick kind of look <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm on my hair look at the lighting guys this is awful to work with you probably haven't seen any of it right so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to untuck this top because as lovely as this is if you can't get a black blouse that you like I just want to show you how versatile it is to wear a plain scoop neck from Primark. Now this could be a roll neck jumper if you like it, like a thin knit. In the autumn I think it's a bit too warm still to get away with that. But a nice fitted long sleeve black top, £2.50 from Primark and you tuck that in and I'm not going to lie guys, this is probably one of my staples and I would wear this with a nice long coat and I put my little loafers on or my little Chelsea boots and I would go to the school run in this and I'd feel really comfortable, I can do all my cleaning in it but I know I look nice so let's undo this oh I can't wait to get onto the dresses, I'm not going to lie one thing on, one thing off so let's put that skirt to the side so now I've got this on long sleeve top 
just wanted to show you. Does anyone remember this? This is from Marks and Spencer's originally, but I got this in the charity shop and I paid 3 99 for it, size 16. My skirt from Primark was a size 16 and so was the trousers from Very. All my tops that I've put on are size 16s as well. So I just wanted to show you these kind of long pleat skirts. Pardon me, I don't know if I'm hiccuping or burping really. I can't be sure. But something like this with a long sleeve t-shirt. Set the tag off. I've actually worn this. That's terrible, isn't it? And I would put my long suede boots, knee-high boots, on with this. <laughs> oh, this is like a drunk get ready with me because the light is so light. And I'm going to wear this with because it's got little red polka hearts in the skirt. Now this would also look, this is a plain t-shirt, you can get these kind of skirts from Primark. Just by adding a belt around the middle makes that not look like a t-shirt and just a cheap skirt. It makes it look expensive. I always feel really well put together in the autumn. So, I might wear this with to bring out the red, only because I've got one, because everyone knows this is my Christmas coat. I don't care. Got it from Marks and Spencers. I paid 80 quid for it. <laughs> and you know what? I wear it every Christmas. This I bought on a Christmas when I was about a size 14. So hence doesn't do up. But I don't do it up anyway. So it don't really matter. And definitely I would put the belt around this. Not gonna lie. But you can wear loafers with this. If you're not a heel person, which to be honest, I'm not. It's only because these are so comfortable. Oh, I'm sweating. Absolutely sweating. And I just think that looks really cute. Look that bag. Really sweet. And with high heel boots. And that looks really, really cute. Really, really expensive. And you can get little skirts like this for cheaply at Primark and t-shirts. And I think that is just an outfit. So even if you went out and got different coloured ones of these, different sort of tight ones of these, they're going to look good. Let's chuck that coat over there. And lastly, well it isn't lastly, but this is one thing I wear all, all the time. All the time. I always wear dresses, I always wear tea dresses. Anyone that watches my hauls or anything like that, you know that I do. Always wearing them. Let's take my... Boots off, oh, no more of them. Cause they're more like, you know, a bit more of like a ladies that lunch kind of thing. And I'm not wearing them. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep my tights on, keep my vest on and my spanks. Sort my little sweaty look, honestly. Look at the bloody, look, my hair's naturally curly. So it's like, hey, I wanna play. <laughs> what is that? So. My staples would be, you've seen this, I got this £22 in new look. So this is like a smocky type dress. These are perfect if you're having a day where you're cleaning, you don't, you want to be comfortable, you want to feel really nice, but it looks so nice. Let me pull the vest down with just a little pair of black tights and Chelsea boots. So I'll try a loafer on as well, and I would wear these with a little, little pair of Chelsea boots, and a little bag, nice little coat, or alternatively, a nice little loafer. Really smart, I'm getting the little wrinkles on my feet. Now, do, you, do anyone else get that in the autumn where you're always pulling your tights up because you get the little wrinkly feet on your tights? So I'd wear something smocky like this, and you can wear any kind of coat. And also, if I'm having a day where I want to wear, so I also got this from New Look. This was £22.99, I got this in my last haul. This is like kind of more of my thing. I always wear like a wrap type dress. I feel like a sausage wrap at the minute, or a ham wrap. Other meats are available. What have I done? Oh, I know what I've done. Ugh. Please don't ever offer yourself to do a lookbook again, Rosie. Doing it, filming it at like seven o'clock at night. It's ridiculous. 
So I'd wear something like this. I'm gonna wear my little boots with it. But to make something like this look smarter, sorry, I'm off the camera now. This is a Mac I got for £5.50 from a charity shop. And literally, it just makes a little dress. Well, look at, look at my hair. I'm Cindy Lou now from The Grinch. I'm turning Christmas Eve. What on earth? Look. But it just makes it look more expensive. You can grab a big mum bag. You're on the run. Little pair of loafers little pair of boots you look really cute something flat Pew. <laughs> i hope you're getting the gist of this i hope you're getting the gist but i'm just saying like to be honest they're quite cheap clothing and maybe i'm delusional but i think they look really autumnal and i think they look quite expensive even though they're really cheap and uh, listen everyone knows what jumpers and jeans look like with trainers, I do that a lot as well, so I'm not going to bother doing that. But here comes the classic, the one that I was torn on, the one that I, most people have said they've gone out to buy after my haul, my Primark haul, and it is the cow print bottom dress. What a beauty. Oh, and I definitely would wear this. This would look better with black belt. Obviously, we can't fly, fly, we can't find it. That's what's happened, we can't find it. We can't find the black belt. Never been able to get a black belt, karate or nothing. Right. Belt around the middle. <laughs> Bit of Irish dancing to entertain you while I'm getting dressed. So, belt around the middle. Looking good. Now this would look really really trendy with the big not buckled but the big chunky boots well i'm thinking it will sometimes i put things on and i'm like what are you putting on rose and then sometimes i'm like yeah that really worked so this look quite trendy so for instance can you see them big chunky boots i think it looks kind of quirky if you sort of storm tripped yourself all the way down in town there's a man looking up in my window right now and he's probably thinking what is she doing? She's on the stall giving it this. Oh, yeah. I'm joking. I'm not that brave. He's actually walked past now. So I'd either wear those or the knee high boots again. But I wanted to show you there's one more staple that I think you should have in the autumn. And that is, apart from a long jacket and a Mac. Sorry, now I won't be able to find it. There we go. This is from Primark. I paid about £15 for it a couple years ago. This was my original size, 12. Look at my nails, they're disgusting. They need to be painted. It's got the leather sleeves. And it's just a lovely little denim biker jacket, a little leather one. It's so cute. And you could literally wear trainers with this outfit and it would be so young and trendy. Or you could wear the classy boots with this and it'd look really, really smart. Obviously, disclosure, I would not... Is that the right thing? My hair would be nice. It wouldn't look like this. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. You've dealt with the fact that I'm sweaty. You still seem to be nice to me. So obviously you must think it's okay. Maybe we're just all sweaty together. But I definitely think any autumn capsule wardrobe you should have tan and black in anything you have, i.e. belts, bags, shoes. Tan and something. So even if you have like a high heeled black ones, have some flat tan ones, flat loafers. So I always have something in tan and black, just so I've got each colour. Or if you know that you're more of a person that would stick to black, then just get black. Black boots, black bag, and it'll always go with everything. But I do think the things that always make things look expensive tend to be your accessories. I.e. you can buy the cheapest dresses from Primark, and wear one of the nicest coats from like Marks and Spencers. I think coats and bags and shoes. And I'm not talking designer. I'm talking like two pound. I think it's one pound fifty from the charity shop. 
something that looks well made, even if it's really, really cheap. So Primark do really beautiful bags. New Look do really beautiful bags. And I think you can team up any type of dress and take it and make it look all and fabulous. And I do think, ladies, that if you, this might not work, if you've got yourself, I can't find mine, I think it's in the loft. You know, he's going out for the day, down to London, or he's going for something to eat with a husband or with your friends or with a wife. One sec. Yeah, that's awful. But, big blow dry. It's a cheap dress from Primark, big belt, big bag. You'd feel nice, you'd feel classy. I don't think anyone would probably look at my outfits and go, they look really, really cheap, but they all were really cheap. To be honest, I think if you buy one coat and it literally lasts you the whole of winter and autumn, you wear it again every, every year. I don't even count that kind of thing. That's like an outlay that you pay at the beginning, get a nice pair of boots, a nice bag. I think they're your foundations. Then you can buy a cheap dress for like 12 quid from Primark, a cheap belt for three quid. So I've got a 15 quid outfit. But then also, I can wear this with other styles. I buy cheap dresses from New Look, I can wear a cheap t-shirt from Primark and wear that with a cheap skirt. As long as your accessories are there, I think that's it. So this has been my first sort of lookbook and I didn't buy nothing new for it. Because I thought, do you know what? I keep getting asked, you keep buying new clothes, we'd like to see what's in your wardrobe. Whether that meant me just filming in my wardrobe, I thought I'd get a few bits out. But I really hope you like this. And I'm sorry I'm a sweaty mess again. But in my mind, sometimes it feels worse. This might actually just be as bad, but sometimes it just generally feels like I'm blah, 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 sweating the whole time. It probably is that, but I think we all think it's worse but in, your, in your own head. So hopefully this is okay, because I don't watch these before I stick it up. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will go back to my normal haul try-ons. I had a few people saying, what kind of boots would you wear? What kind of shoes would you wear? What kind of bag? So I don't really get photos on my Instagram, which is Rosie Henshaw Home. I do an outfit of the day, but I don't tend to be able to get a full shot with my shoes. And it's normally when I'm indoors before I go out, so I haven't got my coat on. So I've not always got someone with me to take photographs of my, of my outfit, which would be a bit embarrassing if I just started stopping people to do that. So, I just thought this is a little way of you being able to see kind of how I would wear this out. If you would like to take some tips from it, if you would like it. If you don't like it, that's absolutely fine, if that's not your thing. So, um, I'm going to go now and have a shower because my fringe is like wetter than the sea. That was the best thing I could come up with in that precise moment. So, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm sorry that the lighting was dreadful. But I've been Jump Street today, so I've been sweating my head off and to Harvester. And I could have come home to video, but I think you'll all appreciate I couldn't have the willpower and I had to have an original combo from Harvester. I can't say no to food. I just can't say no to food. So have a fantastic weekend. I've got a craft video coming up on Tuesday. And I've also got my original Go Back to Try and Haul Fridays. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.